This is one of the few times where you see Abdullah backing up and Cotto is pushing him to the ropes. The only thing that really holds back Abdullah, he's the type of a guy that, as Larry said earlier, doesn't like to punch while someone else is punching. He doesn't take any chances. He waits until you quit punching before he'll punch. And therefore, it gives Cotto a chance to get points in the still head. But it's still going to be very tough for him going down the stretch because Abdullah is going to pick it up as the fight goes on. They've and fought 12 minutes here. Miguel Cotto's averaging 14 landed out of 77 thrown in every round. It's a faster pace than Abdullah, who's averaging 8 out of 50 and trying to land harder shots. In the Olympics, Cotto switched southpaw for the last three rounds of their four-round fight, six out of the eight minutes. He hasn't switched southpaw yet here. It is something that he's done from time to time in his early professional career. Abdullayev hasn't thrown much here in the early part of round five. Now he gets started as Cotto backs up against the ropes. Pressure fighter who can take a punch gives everybody trouble. Yeah. Especially a guy with a tight defense like that, where it makes you do all of the work. And you know, and, and what he needs to do is box his jab and don't let his jab snap and come back. Cotto needs a jab to keep his left hand halfway out. That way he can keep keep him at a distance and not throw so many power shots right now. Manny Abdullayev acknowledged yesterday he thought it'd be difficult for him to get a decision here. Is he fighting expressly a knockout type fight? Mm, I think so. He's fighting his typical fight, uh, Jim. That's what he fights. He covers up. He doesn't throw a lot of punches. He's a tight little defense to the ice and waits until he gets close to you and throws these those short power punches. normally sledgehammer heavy have already lost some steam here as the result of Abdullayev's body attack. Cotto needs to keep working to Abdullayev's body with his own left hook and be sure that he's in the same ballpark. Yes, he's got to keep boxing and be prepared in this case to try to win a decision. He need to keep decision on his mind instead of knockout tonight. That means fighting his spot, preserving himself a little bit because I don't think the knockout is going to be that likely. Good left hook to the body by Abdullayev. Downstairs with the right, double left hook, lands them both. Good combination by Miguel, flashy stuff, round winning stuff, bigger activity. Left hand. You need your left hand more now. And the right. Move side to side and keep your left up and attack the body when you can. with a big start in the sixth. Blocked Cotto with a left hook.
punch combination by Cotto. Reestablishes himself in the round. Two minutes to go. Grueling fight in the offing. We're only in the sixth, and already both fighters are taking a lot of punishment. I like to say after Lau opened it up more, because once he opens up more, he's leaving himself open a little bit for Cotto to land punches. Makes it more of an action fight. Yeah, right there, he got caught with a jab while he was throwing the wide left hook. Because so far, for the most part, Cotto's did all of the work. He's throwing about four times as many punches as Abdullah's were doing, and only landing around about probably 25%. Miguel Cotto having to move on his feet, having to respond to pressure, being put in positions that he has not been in in his early rise towards superstardom. Tremendous test for the rising prospect tonight. And he has to do it in front of an adoring crowd on the night before he's supposed to be the Grand Marshal in the Puerto Rican Day Parade. He might be using makeup to look good tomorrow. Well, this is what, when he had a few fights back, I remember Larry was saying that these are the type of fights that's gonna help develop him when he fights a tough fight. And this is a perfect example of that. You know, this is one of the most grueling fights I've saw a young fighter fight in a long time. And the fight is only halfway over. And it's gonna be a really, really tough road for him to go six more rounds at the pace that this guy's pushing on him. Having to move all the time because every time he stops he gets subjected to that <laughs> june 18 it's an hbo sports special ray romano and kevin james making the cut Follow both comedians as they turn serious, trying to make the Pebble Beach Pro-Am final cut. Well, maybe not all that serious. Making the cut, Saturday, June 18, 9 Eastern. You have to put more pressure on him with your left hand. More and more pressure. He doesn't know when you lead. He doesn't know what to do when you lead. Six rounds in the books. 